I will show you how to create some new patterns in Photoshop CS5. The patterns I'm using are from graphicextras.com. They're Christmas decoration designs, uh, pack 33. Now I'm just going to the new uh, layer, then a new fill layer, pattern, comes up with a dialogue, and uh, displays currently things. So if you select another one, so there's just another pattern, another pattern, and you can move these around. You actually load them via the file open command. So you actually can load them into the palette via that. Also you can access them via here. So you can load patterns or replace patterns. So just say select some patterns there. Now just going to say select that one. Click OK at that point. Now another way of doing it, you could actually say duplicate layer. I'm duplicating the layer. Click OK at that point. And I'm just going to go to the Layers palette. Just select on that. Bring that up again. And then you can move the design so you can actually create a slightly more complicated pattern design. Of course, you can just shift them around wherever you, you want. You can, of course, move the ones below. You also, you can use different obviously settings for the, the blending for that thing. Right. So you can actually also go to the layer, rasterize, fill content. Then, because you can't do it before, you can actually now go to layer style and go stroke. You can actually add, say, a stroke around the design, creating a slightly more interesting design maybe than... The one trouble with this, of course, is that now I've actually rasterized the content, actually move it around. You can actually suddenly see the thing. So obviously it's something you should do at a later stage than at, uh, before you obviously decide on the position of the pattern before you go any further. Right. So anyway, that's that's one way of doing it. Another pattern, I'm just going to quickly delete these. So I'll just delete that one. And I'm going to go to open the pattern. Well, I actually want to find out the size of the pattern because you might not actually have the source of the pattern. So I'm just going to go to my favorite one where doing it is just the pattern stamp. So I'm just going to go pattern stamp, then go over there, and you can see the file size. Yeah, it tells you 495 by 495. Right. So I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to quickly create a file that's 495 by 495. That's now will fill the entire design. So for the so if I actually add that now as a new layer, so I'll just say new fill layer pattern, click OK there, and there are one of the designs is actually included right in the center of the design. Now I'm actually going to go and actually want to shrink them slightly. I'm just going to make them at 50%. So I'm actually just going to go right, rasterize. Fill content, then I'm just going to go transform scale, and I'm just going to go over here with 50%, 50%, click OK at that point, and obviously if I, I could actually create a pattern at this point, obviously you would have a lot of empty space here in, here in the design. So I'm just going to make it so you can actually have a slightly better fill of the design. So just going to go to the layer, duplicate layer, I'm going to duplicate that. Now I'm not going to move it at this point. Next thing I'm going to do is filter, other, offset, and actually I already set the value 248, approximately about the uh, position of the center, not exactly, but approximately. Right, so I've actually got wraparound setting, 248, 248. So you've actually got them now in the, the four corners. Click OK. Now I'm just going to flatten that. And then do Edit, Define Pattern. Define Pattern. Right now if I go to Layer, New Fill Layer, Pattern. Click OK there. You can actually see the design, but obviously that's still as you could see before. So now you've actually got a slightly more interesting sort of checkerboard polka dot. 
pattern, what do you want to call it, of the design. Now, still got quite a bit of empty space. So you might turn around and say, no, I don't want that empty space. I'm actually just going to go, so I'm going to go back again. I'm just going to go to here. And I'm just going to go window. Oh, history, history is missing. So history, history somewhere. Okay, can't get through it. Step backwards. Step backwards. Step backwards. Right, so I've gone back to that. So I'm just stepping back. Now, right, back to the original size of the uh, design. Right, next thing I'm going to do is actually I'm going to reduce it. I'm going to duplicate it again. Duplicate layer. And now I can, that's a, a rasterized, I actually rasterized that earlier. So I better, I better actually show you that. Step backward, step backward. Right, so new fill layer, pattern, okay. Let's pick another one. So I'm just going to pick that one just to go through all the various steps, otherwise there's one missing. So there's the design. Then I'm just going to go to rasterize, fill content again. Then I'm going to go to the transform, scale. And now instead of scaling at 50%, I'm actually going to scale at 75%. 75%. Click OK. Duplicate. Duplicate layer. And then I'm going to do the offset again. So filter. Offset, same offset. Now there's not much space. I mean, I could have probably gone 78, 79. Probably could have been slightly better percentage, but 75 seems to fit it a bit, a bit nicer. So now layer, pattern layer, then edit, define pattern. So now I'm just going to go to layer, new fill layer, pattern. Click OK at that point. That's the pattern I've actually got. So you can actually see that pattern around and I'm just going to obviously decrease the size a bit so now you've just got more now of course instead of actually duplicating a layer I could have actually created another layer so you could have actually like combined multiple different uh, patterns so you could sort of create obviously that pattern or you could have created with another pattern so uh, anyway that's for CS5 but you can also use the same approach for CS4, CS3 etc, CS2 and also this is on a PC but exactly the same approach on a Mac now, all pattern sets from Graphic Extra actually come with the uh, original source pattern, but uh, I'm just basically just showing you how you can do it with uh, maybe another design that you might not have the original source pattern with. So uh, they're actually, like I say, stored in PNG normally, but these are ones if you've got patterns only in uh, PAT files, Photoshop PAT files.